So the first thing you gotta do, we're gonna teach you how to do uh, drip. This is, what is this? Air, air coffee is, aero, aero press coffee is get the water nice and hot, right? Is that the first thing? But I noticed that's what you did. Well, so a lot of people get super sciencey about it, certain temperature and everything. Oh really? So we're just gonna say, hot oil, really hot oil, yeah. Mountain water, obviously, we use mountain water. And then here's the press. Right here. So, so the first thing I do is turn on my really bright you have been doing a lot of coffee. Uh, get to do the uh, I do uh, 20 grams. Yeah. But you're going to grind this, right? But if it's already ground, it's just 20 grams. There's a little spoon thing or something. What's the spoon? Like, how's it a spoon? You can probably measure it. Or calm down. You want it to be a uh, small, super small ground, but not exactly espresso. So one, one and a half. So well, on mine it's one and a half, and other people do really something different. But this is a Coletta Japanese brand. How many watts is this? So then you ground coffee. Now you're, you just put it in there. Yeah, so what I do is I, uh, for some reason, a static stick. That's 20 grams of ground coffee. Roughly 20 grams. This is 200 dollars for Yep. And my little $35 ounce. Fill it right to the top. And ripping it everywhere. Ripping it. Hard look on it to rip it everywhere. The nose up at all this coffee. Yep. Making coffee the real way. Technical. Yeah. You gotta be an artist. That's my whole thing. Confusion. And that's confusion. Say C O N. With fusion. Alright, so you can put that. Alright, so what? Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're missing that part. So basically, you put the filter in and show them how you hold it. So I hold it where I'm holding the little caps, edges. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to press the little bird with the little. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. All nice and good. And why do you do that? It's my way. Make sure it's extra hot. Yep. And why do you put that on there? Just. Takes oh. the flavor, explain that. Um, well, apparently the filter has slight amount of residue, so you wet it and then it kind of it washes it. Yep. And then it also sticks it yep. to this so, so that you way. You don't get any grinds. Right. Sleep, uh, sleeper grinds. Sleeper grinds. And the grinds um, generally make most people have really quick bowel movements, like within five minutes. Maybe that's what my wife does. You know, after I make her coffee, she's always going to the toilet. She's really happy. Well, I don't know. Like, I had to ground. go talk. Yeah, I think it's hard to know that. Alright, coffee ground. Hold on, hold on. Okay, go. Better than coffee ground for the best coffee that I've ever had. Like, we're talking deep down, and it'll be about almost a foot and a half long. Like, baseball thick, huge. Yeah. Right this like curd. And this one here is by. Uh, uh, you both of them, or you just put one of them? No, I just take these. Just consume them. Oh, just consume them. So one of these and two of these per day. So that's it. Yeah. And these, this, very, you know, I want to like grow some semi leaves. Semi leaves. Alright, so now he's, uh, so what do you got here? Are you, are you just rinsing it out? So this is what size uh, little container you got here? This is 440 milliliters. 440 milliliters. And there's a larger one, so it's a smaller of the two, right? Yeah, it turns out that this actually works better to get it so that way. Yeah, show them. It's filled up with water once it's once it's about halfway to espresso. Yeah, you feel all that way it's exactly the right strength flavor again. Um, and it fits on the top really nicely there. Yeah, and you're less likely to um, make judgment errors for example the big one. The problem is you fill them up. 
You bought that in Japan, right? Yeah, these are all in Korea. Okay, and now you're pressing. Now describe to me what's going on here. A little pressure. Like a squirting poop. So you see, it's not quite filled. And yeah. That would be that really is strong and expressive. So that's it. Super, 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 super strong. And then you get your water to heat up again. Just adding it. Like a 10 centimeters or an inch below the top. It's about an inch. That seems to be about a great balance. Yeah. You can play around with your air to get the right. And that's good to go? You don't have to stir it or anything? No, well, because I poured the water in. Okay, it stirs itself. We're going to pour it in. So you're going to want to transform it to another... Yeah, it's mine. Pour it So now it's actually stirring the water. Yep, yep. That looks nice. So basically we're going to have coffee. We found a we found truck here. And, um... Here, this is going to be perfect. Uh, it's still a little bit too small. Okay, I need to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, yeah, I want it so it's good. I thought it maybe was too big. I thought it would just slide right in here. I have a file in the back if you want. Yeah, I've got a file. I've got a file. But yeah, then this will just fit in there. And I've got two of them. So I can do two copies. Have the, have the uh, grinder and the water right here. Then, this could be the little coffee table right here. Yeah. You don't want too many of those in it. You were looking for um, a brown sugar. Well, make sure it's Okinawa. It's a very fast one. Okinawa pure cane sugar. Okay. We got uh, this another option here. Coconut organic Lime. coconut sugar. For some reason, and it's very similar to the color to the Okinawa pure cane sugar. Oh, yeah. Um, and um, you just you, you did three scoops is good for me. Three, yeah. It's very balanced. So there you have it. Yeah, one more three scoops. So that's how you make the air air press. So I'm excited. Now I know how to make air press in a very unscientific way, in a very very uh, confusion way with fusion.